Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. It's the 30th. It's March. It's 2019. And you are looking at video that I've taken, that you've taken, that anybody can take at any time of the day, no matter what, because they are constantly and completely spraying the atmosphere and blocking out the sun. Now, I've been talking about this since the day I started this channel. This is exactly how I started this channel. I was talking about blocking the sun. I was talking about these airplanes that were spraying in the sky. And nobody seems to care. Nobody seems to notice. They don't notice that every single solitary day, the sun is a very rare event. Because they're up there all the time spraying us. Non-stop, never ending. You see this airplane right here? He's spraying several compounds. Well, Richie, it's just contrails. It's just condensation coming from the back of an airplane. It's not a big deal. You, you sure about that? You want to stick with that statement? Because you can clearly see the different filaments in the stuff that these guys are spraying out of the back of the airplanes. You can see the heavy metals reflecting, causing a rainbow effect all the time. The skies used to be blue. The sun used to be yellow. You used to be able to see white fluffy clouds. These things didn't exist. Do you see what I'm saying? And what gets me, what's really, really killing me is they've come out with it. They're out everywhere. The Mind Unleashed, physics.org, nature, having warming with idealized solar geoengineering moderates key climate hazards. Peter Irvine, Kelly Emanuel, solar, ge solar geoengineering, or SG, has the potential to restore the average surface temperatures by increasing planetary albedo, but this could reduce precipitation. This entire climate change is a hoax. It's a hoax. They told everybody that this wasn't even a real thing. This wasn't real whatsoever at all. But yet here it is in Nature Magazine. Here it is in physics.org. And here's videos that I've been taking since at least 2010. They're spraying the skies. They have been spraying the skies. The spraying and introducing heavy metals and nanoparticulates into the atmosphere and then, and then calling it global warming or climate change. The same people that are behind everything, the same people that have always been behind everything, are behind global warming. They're behind the entire meme. It didn't start organically at some college campus. The exact same Rothschilds, Rockefellers, Soros, all the same elites are behind this. They're not they're not blocking out the sun to do anything except kill humanity. How do I know that? Well, I don't know. Go here, because I did. You see this right here? This is a video that I did in 2010 when I was in Elberton, Georgia, where I videotaped the Georgia Guidestones. You see what I'm saying? This is a monument with every single language, including Sanskrit, etched on it. This is a monument that absolutely nobody takes credit for, and yet nobody messes with it. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Why don't you take about 100 tons of granite, type a bunch of things on it, chisel a bunch of words on it, put an astronomical telescope built into it, pointed at Polaris, put a worship or sacrifice tray on top of it, and chisel every language, including hieroglyphics, Chinese, and Sanskrit on it, saying that the world needs to kill nine of ten people, and see how long it remains. This thing's been here for over 33 years, and their intent is completely and totally right out there in the open. They're not hiding it whatsoever at all. In humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature, guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity, unite humanity living new language, new language. Rule, passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason. Protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. Let all nations rule internally, resolving external disputes in a world court. Avoid petty laws and useless officials. Balance personal rights with social duties. Prize truth, beauty, love, seeking harmony with the infinite. Be not a cancer on the earth. Leave room for nature. Leave room for nature.
So their intent has and always has been incredibly clear. They chiseled it on a monument and left it in the middle of the United States. It still stands there to this very day. So trying to figure out who's behind this ruse isn't too hard to do whatsoever at all. Global warming isn't real. If you watch the amazing one-hour documentary by the Corbett Report called How Big Oil Conquered the World, and then his sequel called Why Big Oil Conquered the World, you'll find out exactly where the term global warming, the green agenda, where and who it comes from and who pays for it. You'll also discover who placed all these quote-unquote professors into schools to com- completely brainwash and mindfuck an entire series of generations of people who think that this has nothing to do with erratic weather, who think that these more than 100 patents related to weather modification and weather control are somehow completely not being used. These patents go back to the 60s and some to the 40s. All right, Richie, I was trying to send you this. So was that November 1929. I'm sorry, November 29th, 1958. Climate change control could change the world. Alright. Let's see here. Camera sucks. Okay, this kid's killing me with his camera, but he's one of my subscribers and he sent me this article from 1958. This shit goes back a long, long, long time. And ridiculously enough, all the communist, all the all the axis of evil countries are telling everyone, Putin's telling people that geomanipulation of the Earth's environment through chemical spraying oper- author- operations designed to alter the world's climate and poison the population. China has come straight out and said it. How much more proof do you people need? Do you see what I'm saying? This is bad. If you can't breathe, you can't live. If the sun isn't out, food doesn't grow. Do you see what they're doing? Do you not understand that politics left, right paradigm? It's all the same bird. None of it's real. It's political theater. Why do you think that we have a billionaire, orange-haired reality show actor asshole as our president? You're fired. 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 Let's go. Hello, Mr. Trump. It's an honor. It's an honor to meet you. I was wondering what. I mean, the joke is on us. And the funniest thing in the world is the same people that think they elected Obama, who was worse than George W. Bush, are the same people that think they lost the election to this guy, an orange haired billionaire, Israel-loving, elitist reality show actor. I'm sorry to all my Christians, but people, wake the fuck up. This is happening. This is getting worse and worse and worse and worse. These guys are now debating it. They've gone past the disclosure point. They told us. Whether people heard it or not, they don't give a shit anymore. They told us. Now they're debating it. Once it's a debate, It's on. People need to wake up and understand what's going on right now. We do not consent. It's a hashtag we made viral. Not I don't consent or we shouldn't consent. We do not consent. Make it viral. Make them block us. Make them take us down. Richie from Boston. Share this. What the 